So there are 20 different photographers in the show. Uh, Harry Adams, an African-American photographer from Los Angeles. Uh, Will Wilson is a Diné or Navajo photographer who uh, does a lot of portrait work. Lee Marmon is from Laguna Pueblo, and there are a couple of his uh, images in the show. Uh, Roberta Price went to the West in 1968 to photograph the rural communes. Miguel Gander grew up in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and uh, uh, he's become one of the premier photographers documenting the New Mexican scene. Uh, David Plowden is a Yale alum from the class of 1955 uh, who moved to Winnetka, Illinois in the 1970s and has spent decades crossing the country looking at the uh, legacy of American small towns uh, throughout the country. Uh, Karen Halverson uh, has lived in Los Angeles for more than a decade and uh, took her camera on numerous trips through the Great Basin uh, and also down the Colorado River. Uh, Laura McPhee uh, has spent a considerable period of time in Idaho putting together an extraordinary set of images that look at time on both the geologic and the human scale. Uh, Lauren Henkin uh, and Marion Bellinger are particularly interested in questions of permanence and transiency in the West and they've uh, built uh, collections that explore uh, how fragile our presence is on the land. Kim Stringfellow uh, operates in the, the Mojave Desert and her images of our attempts to make a, a, a place for ourselves in, in that incredibly um, demanding environment are uh, both um, touching and, and I think humorous in, in, in the way in which they explore our futile efforts to, to find a way to live in the desert. Uh, Owen Luck and John Willis have spent uh, considerable time visiting, getting to know, becoming parts of Native American communities in the Dakotas uh, and in the Pacific Northwest. And along with Will Wilson and Lee Marmon, their photographs provide an opportunity for us to consider uh, the, the heritage of, of First Americans, of Native Americans, and the interesting challenges that they confront in terms of making a, a daily life for themselves in a country which has not always been uh, considerate of their, their rights and of their heritage. David Ottenstein is a New Haven resident who uh, has been visiting Iowa and the far west over the course of the last decade. He's been very interested in the transformations that have occurred as agriculture has changed from being small farm to becoming uh, a, a, a corporate business. Abe Arano is a San Francisco physician who uh, has carried his camera around the streets of San Francisco and the Bay Area for a decade or more and his portrait work and his capture of, of daily life in the streets of San Francisco is, is a window into the urban experience. And Rich Buswell is a, a photographer from Helena, Montana, a fourth generation Montanan, who uh, has used his interest, his passion in photography as a hobby to kind of document the, the legacy of settlement in Montana. Toba Tucker uh, started out as a portrait photographer, and the exhibition includes some of her interesting work among the residents of Heber Springs, Arkansas, as well as uh, Native Americans in the Southwest. And David Grant Noble, another Yale alum, who moved to Santa Fe in the 1970s uh, and has worked at the School of American Research ever since. And David did fascinating work among the uh, Ashinaabe of of the Great Lakes on his way west. And there are photos in his exhibition from uh, Lake Net, Minnesota and wild rice gathering, but also some extraordinary images he's made of the ancient sites in the Southwest of rock art and petroglyphs that remind us of how deep and uh, uh, longstanding has been the Native American occupation of, of the desert Southwest and the canyon lands of Utah and New Mexico.